What bam what's going on everybody my name is Jamie Fenn and today you're going to learn how to do the speed ramped zoom effect in DaVinci Resolve. Check this out. <laughs> Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. That would be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so down here I have a clip when I was in Hawaii. And right now this is just real time. So the first thing you want to do is come to the point right where you want to start the zoom effect. And I'm going to actually create a speed point. And then for the point where it's zoomed in, I want it to be right to the apex of her swing. And then I'm going to create another speed point and drag this out to be 40%. The reason I select 40% is because this was shot in 60 frames per second and 40% is 24 frames per second, which is the timeline I am working in. Then real quick, I'm just going to right click on the clip and select retime curve and come in here and smooth out the retime speed options here just to kind of give it a quick, nice, smooth speed ramp. All right, let's go ahead and right click on this clip, select new fusion clip. Now you can do this in the edit tab, but I actually find it more intuitive in Fusion. It's pretty simple in Fusion, so don't freak out. So once you get into Fusion, what you wanna do is hold down Shift and press Spacebar and type in Transform. Then what you wanna do is come to the point right where you hit that slow motion speed ramp, and then select the size keyframe. Then go to the point right where you wanna zoom in. It's gonna be a few frames, so real quick. Let's go ahead and turn the size up like so. Then right where it starts to go back into real time, you want to select another keyframe and then go a few frames forward and turn this back down to one. Then what you wanna do is come up here where you see spline, select spline, select transform, and you will see our keyframes here. So what I'm gonna do is actually make these a little bit tighter and then I'm gonna round them out by selecting the keyframe and pushing F on my keyboard. Then what you wanna do is select the top keyframe here of our zoom in point at first and just kind of pull this up a little bit and just kind of give our camera some movement. So when it does zoom in, it kind of still zooms in and then it zooms back out. Then here's the most important thing. What you want to do is come up here to where you see settings, select motion blur, and then turn that baby up all the way to 10. And that is how you do the speed ramped zoom in effect in DaVinci Resolve. I will see you in my next video. Thanks.